uh, find the equation of the line shown below. So this is a line passing through 0, 3, and 5, 8, and we want to write the equation of this line. So the equation of a line has a formula like this, y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so the m is called the gradient or the slope. I'll say gradient, and the gradient is the ratio of rise over run. Okay, I'll explain this. So let me write what is what. And C is called the y-intercept. So we're going to, I'm going to do this first uh, algebraically, and then I'll show you how you can check your answer on a graphic calculator or without a calculator. Okay, so yeah. So we need to find two things. First is the mm, uh, y-intercept. Or let us first find the gradient. So M is your gradient, which is rise over run. Okay. So now to find rise over run, you can take any two points on the line. So let me take the points that we have got is 0, 3. This is one point, And this is the other point, 5, 8. So when you are looking at rise, you're looking at your y-axis. So you're rising. So this is your 8. So let me join by dotted line. So this is your rise. This is your rise. Let me draw it properly. So this is your rise. And this is your run. OK. Now to rise, you have to look at the y value. OK. Or uh, you're rising from 3. This is 3. And you're rising up to 8. OK. So your rise is from 3 to 8. OK. So you can calculate the rise like this. That is 8. From 3 to 8, your rise is 5. OK. Or 8 minus 3 is 5. So your rise is 5. So you draw an arrow. So you're going up. So your rise is 5. And your run is from 0. This is 0. And you're running from 0 to 5. So your run is also 5. So the ratio of 5 over 5 is nothing but 1. And the y-intercept is where your line is cutting the y-axis. So your line is cutting the y-axis at 3. So the equation is, this implies, the equation is y is equal to 1x. We don't write 1x, we write only x plus 3. Okay, so let us look at this in a very simple manner. Suppose even if sub this equation can be written by just looking at these two points. Can you see 8? If you look at this is your y value, this is your y value, and this is your x value. In the same way, this is your y value. Your 3 is y, or y coordinate, and 0 is x. So can you see that 3? So let me write that. Can you see that 8 is 5 plus 3? 8 is 5 plus 3, and 3 is 0 plus 3. So the relation between x and y, or y and x is y is x plus 3. Okay. Now how can you check this on a calculator? If you have a graphing calculator, you can go to the run menu, sorry, to the table, and uh, let me delete this and type in x plus 3, just like that. And let me go from set, from 0 to, say, 5. Okay, step of 1, and when it is 0, when x is 0, y is 3, and when x is 5, okay, just look at the value, see, when x is 0, y is 3, can you see 3 is 0 plus 3, 4 is 1 plus 3, 5 is 2 plus 3, and so on, and when you want to, if you, it's 8, it's, when it is x is 5, y is 8, so our equation is right, so let's look at one more uh, line. So this is, this line is passing through 0, 6. So we are looking at this point, and you got this point. So let me write the equation again. The equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c. mx plus c. So what is m? m is rise over run. So it's always good to write the formula so that you understand what you're doing. So rise over run. So when you're looking at rise, you're looking at your y values. 
So this is 6 and this is 9. So your rise, you, this is your rise, so let me change color. This is your rise, your rising from 6 to 9. So your rise is 3. Okay, and what's your run? The run is from 0 to 1. So your run is 1. So your gradient is 3 over 1, which is 3. And your C, which is your Y intercept, is 6. So equation is Y is equal to 3X plus 6. 3X plus 6. So let's check that on a calculator. That means if you put any value of, suppose, how can you check that? 3 times 0 is, without the calculator, you can check like this. 3 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6. So at this point, when X is 0, Y is 3, so that's right. If you put 1 in place of X, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 6 is 9. Okay, so when, suppose, let us check, suppose this point seems to be negative 1, 3 this point seems to be negative 1 comma 3. So does it work? When 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 6 is 3. So let's check that on a calculator. Go to your equation and type in 3x plus 6. And then let us set it from say minus 1 to 5. So can you see when x is negative 1, y is 3, when x is 0, y is 6, and when x is 1, y is 9. Okay, so let us do one more question. This is a bit tricky question where you don't have the y-intercept clearly. You have only these two points. You've got 3, 6, and 5, comma 2. So let us first find the gradient. So your gradient, so let us join this by a right angle triangle. So this is your rise, this is your rise, and this is your run. So your gradient is negative, going to be negative, because the line is uh, going down. Uh, from left to right, it is going down. So gradient is rise over run. OK, so your, this is always write the rise first and then the run. So rise over run. So what's your rise? For rise, you're looking at the y value. So this is, say, 6. This, I hope you can see, this is 6, and this is 2. So when you're looking at your rise, you're looking at, you're running, you're rising from 6 to 2. That means you're falling. So how would you show your fall? So that's a fall of 4. And you're running, that means you're going to the right. So this point, I hope you can see, this is 3. This is 3 on the x-axis, and this is 5 on the x-axis. So you're running 2. From 3 to 5, the run is 2. And so your grad gradient is negative 4 over 2 is 2, negative 2. So your equation will be y is equal let me write the general form, y is equal to mx plus c. And this is nothing but your m. This is m, which is your gradient. So you can say y is equal to minus 2x plus c. Now we need to figure out c. So by the, from the line I can say the c, this is 2, 4, 6, 8. So it will be somewhere between 8 and 10. Okay, so I can, that's a guess that I can make. Your gradient has to be somewhere between 8 and 10. Okay, so let me write this properly. So this is minus 2x plus c. Now we need to find c. For that, we need to substitute this point or this point in this equation. So what does that mean? So we're going to say, well, when x is equal to, when x is 5, y is equal to 2. When x is equal to 5, y is equal to 2. We're going to put this in this equation. So you have to be careful in substitution because you should put x in place of x and y in place of y. So y is 2. So this 2 is equal to negative 2 times 5 plus c. So 2 is equal to negative 10 plus c. So my estimate was not right. So I'm going to add 
10 to both sides. So if you add 10 to this side, you have to add 10 to this side. So this becomes 12 is equal to C. So the equation that I got is y is equal to negative 2x or minus 2x plus 12. So I need to check whether my equation is right. So let us check without the calculator. So when x is 5, so let us start at 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 12 is 6. So this is right. When you put 5 there, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 plus 12 is 2. So that's also right. So let's check that on the calculator and exit. So let me delete this and now write minus 2x minus 2x plus 12 just like that and uh, go to set. So when x is 0 this is your y-intercept. When x is 0 y is 12. Okay and if you scroll down when x is 3, y is 6. When x is 3, y is 6, yeah. And when x is 5, it should be 12. No, it's 2. When x is 5, y is 2. I'll show you one more method of doing this on a graphical method. So if you go to graph and type in, so let me type in again, minus 2x plus 12. Minus 2x plus 12. And then... <clears throat> So let me change the scale, make it 10 by 10. So let me change this to 10 by standard scale and uh, draw the graph. Okay, so let me scroll this up. So this point is called the y-intercept, which you, if you go G solve and you press Y, can you see when X is 0, Y is 12. And then you can also find Y calc. So when X is 5, they will tell you the Y. When X is 5, Y is 2. We can confirm that again. G sol y calc when x is three, y six. When x is three, y six.